Yo, what's up guys? Chase Libero here, and welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 build video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Claymore, which has recently become one of my favorite weapons. Now the Claymore performs best when utilized with a strength build, so that's kind of what I have going on here. So at 40 strength, the Claymore yields 509 AR. Now unlike a lot of other strength weapons like the Leto's Great Hammer or the Heavy Spiked Mace, or a lot of the other ones that I have going on here, it doesn't really get too many damage returns after 40 strength. So it's not really the best to invest the points all the way to have 66 strength like it would be for the Leto's Great Hammer or Spiked Mace. So I thought, why not invest the points into Faith, where I can put a buff on the sword that already has great damage output at 40. So, that being said, I did throw my Faith all the way up to 60 to be able to use Dark Moon Blade. And um, remember, originally its AR is 509, when buffed, 744. That's pretty crazy for a greatsword. And the best part about this is I didn't really have to sacrifice any vigor or endurance to do this build. For some reason, using a warrior or a knight is the most ideal. I would suggest the knight as your starting class though, because it does come with one attunement slot for Dark Moon Blade. You get better vitality, and it's the uneven amount of strength and dexterity. So I definitely recommend starting with the knight class. Um, I got the heavy claymore, the simple Luolin to rebuild my FP, just in case I need to rebuff. The Yorshka's Chime because it has the highest spell buff at 60 faith, and the Knight's Gear just because I think it looks kind of fresh with the build. Um, as for the rings, we have the Ring of Favor plus 3, got the Prisoner's Chain, Lingering Dragon Crest Ring plus 2 so we don't have to buff as often. And as soon as the battle starts after you buff, you're going to want to ring swap the Priestess Ring to the Leos or the Hornet depending on your opponent. It's really up to you. If you're fighting a straight sword, I recommend Hornet Ring. If you're fighting a slower weapon, I recommend Leo Ring. So, yeah. That being said, guys, let's just get right into the battles. Alright, boys, jumping into our first match. Make sure we apply the buff right away and ring swap. Get the most out of it. Leo ring, because he's using the Astora, so I'm most likely not going to be pairing him. Come on, big boy. Show me what you got. Show me what you got, bum chat. <laughs> what are these people? They're getting the creative names, man. I don't have that ability. Alright, a backstab right off the bat. Not the best for bum chat, but it's okay. It's okay. Come here, big boy. Come here. Show me the love. Ooh, nice. I thought he might follow that up with a light attack, but he didn't. Alright, we're gonna get him with a weapon art then. Oh, the running attack really leaves people open for backstabs, so if you're ready for it, you're good to go. Good fight, my man. Good fight. Hello, Ash. Hello. Are you ready for a battle, my friend? He's got the S-Stock. Not a huge fan of fighting rapiers, but... Damn! <laughs> oh my god. It's the try-hard axes. I don't know if I'm ready. Dark Moon Blade versus Dark Moon Blade. Oh, you're actually going to use Miracles. That's something you never see. Yeah, pull out your axes. It's much better. Come on, man. Come on. You don't... You're not playing right. You're not playing those things right. It's the, you don't play the defense meta with those things. Although, that did a hell of a lot of damage. <laughs> Half my health in one L1? Damn. I've got to look out, son. Goodbye, my friend. You get a bow for using that, but... Why is everybody wearing Covenant items in the arena? <laughs> Don't you just want to look fresh? They're not showing off their fashion souls. Obot. What you know about the shield? What you know about the shield, Obot? Ooh, okay. That was, that was sad for me. Really, really thought that I was going to hit him. <laughs> My hopes and dreams were demolished. <laughs> that 46 chip damage though. GG my man. You fought really well. I like that you were wearing the black hand armor. Props to you. Alright, straight sword, eh? Okay. Give me time, give me time, give me time. No, he doesn't want to give me time. Okay, that's okay. He's got to walk away and ring swap. 
He's he's searching for the backstabs. You can already tell. Ooh, bad start for us. Bad start. Man, our, my timing right now, man. My timing is terrible. Woo! It's far too close. He doesn't like he doesn't like that I'm surviving by the by the amount of health that I have. Ooh. Oh, what am I I don't have my dagger. That was so accidental. <laughs> now he's gonna take that as I I'm I'm a dick. But either way. <laughs> Oh man, that was hilarious. I'm so used to having a dagger in my offhand. It's it's like reflex All right, so we have a buff dagger build. This is not gonna be pleasant. I hate fighting daggers Especially when they know what they're doing <laughs> And he has armor of thorns on for optimal damage when he quick steps Ooh. Oh I'm honestly surprised. I really thought that was gonna be a challenging fight. <laughs> okay. Man, the game just loves this map today. Alright, I'm not gonna be parrying that, so yep. Ooh, Leo Ring, my bad. Russo! Man, you're buff. Almost full Havels and the club. Pure vitality build right there. Ooh! I will roll backstab you, I promise. I failed, I failed you. Oh, he can poise through, not okay. I didn't even know you had to start up hyper armor right there. It looked like I hit him earlier. Oh, I thought he might go for a third. That would've been wise against me, honestly. That was so close. Come on, Russo. No! Woo! Good, good switch it up. I did not expect a heavy right there. What is this? Russo with the survival skills, man. GG. I can't get the final hit on him. I'm gonna have to go one hand. Oh, he's gonna use the heavy weapon art. I can, I can tell. I can tell. Oh, GG, man. You fought well. Oh no! My least favorite thing! A sorcerer! Those are hitting me. Yep. <laughs> it's okay, I'll have to take those. Gotta take the hits. It's the jogging experience with the sorcerer. His jogs are on point. Come on man, come on. Let's have a let's have a step step party. You're not gonna gain enough space. I'm not gonna allow you space. Ah, uh, that's okay. I got the backstab. What's good? You get pointed down on. <laughs> My least favorite type of combat. All right, my dude. My buff is my bow to you, my friend. No dishonor. I just already take enough time to do this. What are we fighting? Looks kind of like the Ring Knight straight sword. Definitely is. Alright, cool fox. Your deep game is on point. Oh, and your your delay attack. Good job. I was kind of lucky that I caught him with that late, but... Sometimes the kick can be your best friend, guys. If they're rolling up on you or just playing defensively and not attacking and just rolling constantly, then the kick is awesome. Because it comes out as a different timed attack. It's it's a lot faster, I think. Pretty sure. So it really throws them off. Because they go to roll at the beginning of the kick. And then you're able to catch them. Whoa, a scythe. I never see a scythe in PvP. Sophia, you got that Twitch gameplay down? Yeah, Tourette's, let's go. I, like, instinctively blocked when I should have not. Ooh, Sophia, you got the range down, boy. Girl, I mean. It's the chase down meta. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, another buff dagger build? I feel like this isn't the same person that I fought earlier. So, it's weird to me that people are running around with buff daggers. And he just, okay. Okay then. What, what changed? It wasn't gonna be a good fight at first, but when I, when I ran up to him, he realized it was gonna be a good fight. Come here, my man. Come here. Are we just gonna play the who gets the backstab first game? Cause I can do it. I got that. Not worth the trade. I actually did. I forgot that he got better resistances during that attack animation. Ooh, that could have been the backstab. I just forgot to lock on. Or unlock on, sorry. Goodbye, my man. You're wearing my crown. That's my newly found armor piece. It's my crown. Do I even have that on this character? Tear, I don't. Ah, uh, a blue. My natural enemy. For my honor, I must not lose the battle to a single blue. I fight multiple of you on the daily. Show me what you got when you're alone. It's looking close, Vesni. It's looking close. Running attack? Oh, I really, really thought he'd come back for a running attack. Oh, now he wants to parry. <laughs> no, sir. Your host was nowhere to save you. All right, my bros, that's all the battles that I have for you for today. So as you can see, the damage I put on this thing when buffed is pretty insane. I think I killed most of the enemies I was fighting in three to four hits, which is pretty good considering I one hand this thing a lot. It has amazing damage I put. It's great for backstabs. Um, the thrust heavy is awesome at roll catching. And I can't say enough good things about this weapon. If you guys are running a strength build and want to try a great sword out, this is probably my favorite like great sword class weapon. This is my favorite great sword, followed by the Hollow Slayer, but this one wins it because you can buff it. So it has the potential to be god tier. <laughs> but again, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all your support. All the new subscribers from my last stream, I just thank you guys. It means a lot to me. And if you guys enjoyed the video, like the video. There's more builds coming out daily, usually. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I stream later. Chase the bro out.